Well, the first message has to be they mustn't forget history, they mustn't be aware of their own history, but they mustn't be dominated by it. Uh, there is a, a, still a, a, an element in Poland that in its speeches and in its policy behaves as if Poland was still under threat, uh, that, um, uh, uh, that at any moment Russia was going to ask, uh, act in a hostile way. Now, I'm not naive, these things can change, but at the moment that is not credible. Uh, and therefore, I hope that young Poles will um, build their country, solidify the civic institutions, because democracy doesn't just depend on multi-party elections every four or five years. It depends on the rule of law, independent judges, to whom the government has to obey, not just the citizen, uh, a free press, strong local government, absence of corruption, all the things which normally can develop over centuries. Uh, Poland didn't have that opportunity. History was unkind to Poland until recently. So they have to work quite hard to ensure that Poland uh, is a truly um, uh, open society, committed to the rule of law and democratic values, so that if there is a future threat to Poland or any of its neighbors, uh, they will be that much stronger to resist it successfully. I think uh, one potential area uh, will be on in regard to the uh, vision of the European Union. As is well known, the United Kingdom is not very attracted by a European Union that is deeply integrated, moving towards some sort of European federation and so forth. We don't see Europe in that way. We see it more as a cooperation of democracies working very closely, but not seeking to reduce national sovereignty any more than is absolutely necessary. Given its history, uh, Poland, one would imagine, would be in a similar situation, uh, having enjoying for the first time uh, its own independence as a nation, as a state. Uh, it should not be too enthusiastic about surrendering that. But sometimes, of course, the way the European Union works is that on any individual vote, any individual decision, uh, countries are offered inducements to... Uh, there's a lot of hard bargaining, and sometimes uh, it is tactics, not strategy. So I would hope um, that Poland, if it does value national independence as being a, a legitimate and sensible uh, aspiration, uh, that it will evolve a philosophy of how the European Union should, even, should itself change over the next few years, which might be quite close to that of the United Kingdom. Time will tell. That, that may be wishful thinking. Yeah. We have some cooperation on, through the European Parliament. Yeah. Um, the, the, there's always a nervousness yeah. because the Polish right can sometimes be, or elements of the Polish right, can sometimes come across as rather nationalist and or portrayed uh, as nationalist or xenophobic or occasionally anti-Semitic or things that there have been problems of that kind. And therefore there is a nervousness yes. because any links we have with such people or such a party would work very much against the Conservative Party in this country. Yes. It would be seen as unacceptable. You judge people by their friends. You can't choose your family. You can't choose your friends. Uh, so uh, the links that you refer to um, for them to become as strong and as substantive as I would hope, and as many people would hope, it needs the, the, the Polish right, if I can put it this way, to be a centre-right. You know, we, we are a centre-right party, we are not a, a right-wing party in that sense. And uh, that was true even under Margaret Thatcher. Uh, so if, if there is a strong Polish centre-right party, it is a natural partner with the United Kingdom. If it's too right-wing, that will not be possible. Uh, I think those, you said that polls can sometimes come across as very emotional and so forth. I think increasingly polls involved in public life and with political parties must realize that politics today for all of us is no longer just domestic, it's international. And therefore that emotional dimension, which might be natural in Poland and not create too many problems, these same characteristics 
in the European Union or in NATO or in international gatherings can have a very different impact.